guys, it's BB here, and this is the perfect high refresh rate monitor for a one monitor setup. Now this monitor is the ViewSonic Elite XG270, and it's packed with a bunch of features that you never knew you needed until you actually use it. It starts to make you really wonder why other monitor manufacturers haven't integrated this into their monitors already. Now ViewSonic was nice enough to sponsor this video, but trust guys, I put it through its paces, and I wouldn't put anything in front of you guys that I wouldn't stand behind, and I definitely stand behind this product. And I know a lot of you guys in the comments have actually been asking me to cover this monitor as well, so I felt like it was the perfect opportunity to do so. So the price point of this monitor is $430, and that is in line with what we've been seeing from other monitors with similar specs. But I feel like this monitor offers some little features that the other ones don't. Now it's not overly gamery with spears on your desk for a stand. It's nice and minimal. In fact, this little T-shaped stand that they have, which is a VES mount, you can actually put your keyboard over it. So if you have kickstand feet on your keyboard, this can lay over the top of your monitor stand if you don't have a lot of space. It's not like other monitors where it looks like if it slips off your desk, it's going to impale you. On the back side of the monitor, they've got a headphone hook, which is very convenient, also saving you the trouble of buying one or having one sit on your desk. They've also got two mouse bungees that flank on both the left and the right side at the bottom, and this just allows you to funnel your mouse cable through. Now, this is key because it'll allow you to just get rid of your mouse bungee on your desk, freeing up more space. And this mouse bungee actually holds up very nice. They have some little teeth in there that you just press in. It's rubber and it's very flexible so it will move with your mouse so it's not going to pop out. So these two key features alone can save you a lot of desk space. The monitor stand also swivels in and out, up and down, left and right, and you can also put it into portrait mode as well. The monitor has a nice underglow giving your desk a nice splash of color and on the back side around the vase mount there's also an LED strip around that. And that'll just give you a nice glow onto the back of your wall as well so no need to buy extra lighting or strips to put onto your monitor. As for the ports, it's got all the ports that you would need, display ports, HDMI ports. It's also got a upstream USB cable where you can transfer data from your monitor to your computer. In the menu, they've got all the usual suspects. They've got some presets. The one I use is the realistic one. You can also set the response time. I have mine set to the fastest time, which is the one millisecond response time with the overdrive setting. There's no artifacts or flickering, so the image holds up very nicely. They also have this Pure XP Plus setting, which you can turn on, but you also have to turn off the G-Sync. And this has been certified by Blurbusters. So when you turn on the Pure XP Plus, it kind of acts like a DIAC and it reduces motion blur. Now, when you do turn this on, it will get really dark. So you will be sacrificing some light for performance. And for me, I would turn this on when I'm playing like a racing game or a AAA title. And this monitor actually has crosstalk levels that are TN level, which is pretty insane. They also have G-Sync in this monitor and it works great. And did I mention it's also HDR10? 400 nits now i know that's not typically like the true hdr10 but i think it's good enough for most people i was very impressed by the image on this monitor when just viewing movies or tv shows or watching youtube it just looks stellar another feature that they have in the settings is they have a blue light filtering i know that's important to some of you guys and it's important to me when i'm like editing at night or if i'm playing games at night it allows me to go to sleep and just protect my eyes overall now this is a 1920 by 1080p resolution monitor at 240 hertz and i know what you might be thinking hey bt it's 2020 you need at least 1440p on a 27 inch monitor it's not going to be crispier at all it's going to look like garbage well let me tell you guys this thing is crispier than that popeye's chicken sandwich that people were going crazy over last year i like many of you guys read forums i read the comments i see a lot of people ragging on 27 inches and 1080p well i kind of thought a little bit deeper on the topic as to why companies are still making this resolution at this screen size and what i came up with was that most most people are generally going to have like an average computer system. Not everybody's going to have a 9900K with a 2080 Super to get these high refresh rates on a 27 inch with 1440p, 240 frames per second. 
Think about it for a second. So instead they went with a smaller native resolution at 240 hertz. So this will allow the average person to maintain higher frames per second on a bigger screen. And I have to say this monitor does not disappoint when it comes to imaging of your gaming. I went from my Alienware 24 inch 240 hertz over to this one and I didn't skip a beat. It really doesn't make as big of a difference as you guys think. I always thought that the 1440p was the way to go. Every monitor has its little niche and this monitor has a niche for people that really want those higher refresh rates with a bigger monitor. So I did a UFO test and they allow you to put two games one on the top and one on the bottom and change the different frame rates for each one. So I had 165 hertz on the top and I had 240 hertz on the bottom and I can definitely tell the difference in terms of clarity between the top and the bottom. And like I said like a 1440p with 165 hertz has its place. If you play AAA titles, if you enjoy having more real estate on your desktop then go with that but if you're an fps shooter most likely you're not going to care about that you're going to care about performance you're going to care about the frame rates i want every advantage that i can get over my opponent and 240 hertz allows me to do that and especially having something as good as this with a great image very little ghosting because this is an ips display over a tn panel you're going to get deeper blacks and more vivid color as well I also did a test on the UFO test site with the text and it looks amazing, especially when you're scrolling on your desktop. And I think this monitor really checks off a lot of boxes for a lot of people, allowing you to have that high refresh rate, having a bigger monitor. It has a very minimal base. It has a lot of little extras like the headphone hook and the mouse bungee on there to save you space. And that is why I say this is the best setup for a one monitor setup. And my final point as to why I think this is the perfect solution for a one monitor setup is that for some people 24 inches isn't enough that came out wrong well anyways 27 inches is I feel like the perfect medium it's not an ultra wide it's not super small so if you want to do browsing if you want to multitask you can still do that and have a lot of real estate so it's a great in-between without sacrificing too much. The bezels are also very slim if you do actually want to put this into a double monitor setup. And I believe so much in this monitor, I'm going to go out on a limb right now and say this. It is going to be replacing my Alienware because I have a dual monitor setup and on the left hand side I have a 4K LG 27 inch and I couldn't get away from those 240 frames per second so I always went with like a smaller 24 on the right hand side and with my OCD it just always annoyed me so now I get to put a high refresh rate 27 inch on the right side. Mm, mm, mm. All right, guys, that's going to do it for this video on the ViewSonic Elite XG270. Amazing monitor. Uh, I will have links in the description if you want to check it out. Thanks again, ViewSonic, for sponsoring this video. It has been your boy, BT. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you in the next video. Peace.